All right, so is it a little bit late for me to be talking about Mordred because her rate up is already gone? Yes. Am I still going to do it because I like Mordred? 100% yes. Plus, she's like not a limited servant in any way, not story locked, not limited. So technically, this video is always going to be helpful because who knows when you're going to get spooked by Mordred and then wish that you played the Fate Apocrypha event and got her costume. Plus, I do think Mordred is actually pretty decent, and there are some scenarios that you do want to break her out. I do hope in the future, because I believe she's supposed to have battle continuation, you know, in like fate lore so she should get a guts in the future i hope they do actually give that to her and then maybe it could be some hassan style buff where whenever the guts procs she gets like a whole smorgasbord of different abilities that could be really cool to see in the future but before we actually begin if you have not already make sure you leave a like on the video and you subscribe to the channel also again i'm going to go ahead and plug this i am running a 100 Yu-Gi-Oh master duel tournament with a custom ban list on march 4th if you don't play Yu-Gi-Oh master duel just skip ahead like 30 seconds but if you do the custom ban list can be found on the ztl's card shop channel which is going to be linked down in the description down below or if you log into the discord which you need to do to sign up anyway you'll also find that i've posted that every time i make an announcement about the tournament which happens every couple of days so you can find that custom ban list dm me my name is literally just ztl on discord and i would love to see more of you guys participating in that because i want to kind of see what you guys can cook up what the goo is going to be with this like kind of new ban list with some cards being taken off and some cards being put on the ban list. But with all that being said, let's return to our regularly scheduled programming and start talking about Mordred with her hits. Now, she is a year one servant, so you would expect her hits to be a little bit odd, but I actually think Mordred walked away from year one with a decent enough set of hits going on she's got the double buster cards that allow her to buster brave chain with her np that's always really good for damage her arts cards are fine three hits a pop with 0.56 percent np gain this does mean that she's really going to want to get crits on those arts cards to actually see any notable refund but Thankfully, she's a Buster Servant, and Buster Servants are all about busting all over the place with some fat crits, whether it be with Merlin, who's refunding stars every single turn, or it's Koyanskaya, who provides immediate stars, or even Ruler Scotty in the future as well, who realistically could be used as like a pseudo Buster support with her Buster crit buff, and the fact that she refunds stars every single turn. So thankfully, that really shouldn't be that much of a problem because you know Mordred's not jetting those stars on her own. 10% Stargen with a two hit quick card, dude, that riding passive is not going to be saving that. But let's go ahead and start moving into some of her skills because I think they're decent enough, kind of like her hits. I think they just get her across the finish line and they just do enough to make her semi viable if you wanna use her in any team comps. Immediately though, the first skill that needs to be buffed is the first skill. It's nice, it's a 50% buster mana burst. That's gonna give her a lot of damage whenever she fires her NP, because ideally you save this for the NP turn, and then any following buster cards are gonna get a lot of extra damage from this, but that's all it does. Just one big turn of damage. You guys know that I'm not the biggest fan of that. I like my servants to be able to either build up as the fight goes on, or they're consistent for all three turns not having one really good turn and then dramatically falling off for the next couple of turns until they get this buff back up. Again, I mentioned that she is supposed to have battle continuation, I believe in the lore, so they could slap a guts on this, then they could slap on like an on guts effect or maybe make this three times for three turns. Something along those lines could be really, really nice but they really do just need to tack something onto the skill so it's not quite just, well, just wait for mana burst to come back so I could do a lot of damage. Thankfully, at the very least, she does have a special damage mod, so I guess that kind of makes up for some things. Her damage isn't, like, always going to be really bad, but they could maybe also make this, like, a little baby charisma or something along those lines. I don't know, just slap something else on this to help her out just a tad. Now moving on to her second skill, this one was actually buffed and when this got buffed I got really excited for it because it drops 15 stars and then gives her star weight to her buster cards for a turn and then increases her crit damage by 50% for 3 times for 3 turns. Not quite as free as just being 50% for 3 turns but we still take it. The waiver crit buff is nice because it just combos really well with the first skill if you know you have like a really good turn coming up where it's like bam pop the mana burst i got my np i can buster brave chain or i at least got like a buster and an arts card for follow-up 
the buster card's gonna do a lot of damage and then you know the arts card's gonna refund some stuff it's just really nice and they're gonna have a little bit of that extra bite to them because of the crit damage buff this is one of those skills that when they threw it out there i was like oh mordred's actually looking pretty solid now like she's not super unusable but again, I think she really needs to kind of lean on to like that first skill getting buffed because this is good enough. Like this is fine as is star bomb plus crit damage plus absorption. That's all good. And then the third skill over here. I mean, I already thought that this was really good as is on launch because it removes all of her own debuffs. So if you want to bring her to more difficult content, she can remove annoying things like attack downs, defense downs, um, any status effects like burn, toxic, anything like that that's really weighing her down. She can remove all of that. She can get really thick for one turn, getting 50% defense. And then she has a 30% battery, which is still good to this day. Because if you want to invest in like an append skill or something, you can have her start with like a 50% starting charge CE and then get full NP. So like that's still even good to this day. Uh, there's still servants right now that release with like a 20% battery on a buster AOE servant. And I'm like, you are literally holding them back because you know that at bare minimum, they got to have like a 30% battery and ideally a 50%. So this just aids very, very well because it gives Mordred some viability if you want to kind of use her for farming. Again, that might be a little bit harder with, you know, Kolyanskaya coming out and her first skill only being for one turn. It's going to hurt her damage over the course of all three turns, but at least she kind of has that flex, like that viability if you want to kind of use her for that. You can actually use her. It gives her some extra utility. Like you can't deny that she can at least do it for some nodes. Damage might be a little bit hard at NP1 because her first skill again only one turn, but it's still nice. But then she can also flex into doing some challenge quest stuff with some nice crit skills, some nice survivability, quote unquote. It's more like she becomes really thick. And then debuff removal, it's all really, really strong. And then her NP has been buffed, so it just naturally will do more damage. And she gets a bonus damage mod against Arthur enemies while also retaining the Artoria effect where she charges her own NP by 20 to 40% after she fires the NP. So it kind of helps her out a little bit when it comes to refunding. So all in all, just very, very strong, just very, very decent. Again, it's one of the reasons as well why someone like Artoria, who also had like a 30% battery, could kind of do some buster looping like before Koyanskaya came out because of that 20% refund that she kind of got back on a buster NP. It's kind of like Mordred could kind of do the same thing, but just has more viability against Arthurs, which may be a little bit limited. You might be like, well, that's not a lot of people, but these are some common guys. Like you're probably going to fight like one of these saber face, well, not saber faces, but Arthur people, you know, we quote unquote saber faces because they wanted Arthur to feel special. So they wanted to kind of throw him on that Arthur tag. So therefore Mordred could also take him down as well. But it's really nice because these guys are all fairly common. Like you'll probably see one of these people in some event nodes somewhere. So it gives Mordred a little bit of viability. But I think she's one of those servants that's kind of like teetering on being really insane or kind of just being kind of mid right now. Like right now, I think she's the definition of like, five out of 10, like very mid can do some things, but isn't really like beating out other people at their job. So she's a very, very strange servant in that capacity, but it's like buff up the first skill, maybe update like the third skill, maybe give it like defense for three turns, which would be rather insane, but they got to give it something, right? Maybe that's where they'll slap the guts on and the first skill will become more offensive. They could just give her the Artoria treatment where it's like, bam, here's some NP damage. Here's like all of your cards become buster for a term. Just beep, bop, boop, just completely obliterate everything. That would be really, really funny as well. But I don't know. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments down below of what she would do to kind of improve Mordred going forward in the game what would you like to see lesengel give mordred to make her a bit better again i think it'd actually be really hilarious if they just did the artoria second skill for mordred's first skill that would probably be like the funniest thing because you know artoria is mordred's dad it's kind of fitting you know they could also give her like a morgan-esque buff right like morgan's third skill that gives like the guts which would fix the battle continuation issue have it bomb some stars as well give some crit damage and maybe debuff the enemy or give mordred some defense instead that could be really cute because again morgan's technically mordred's mom so that could be really cool as well i don't know just some ideas that i think they could give mordred to make her a bit better because yeah i really do think she's like the definition of a mid servant you can use her you'll see some success but there are better servants to be using 
but she is also better than other servants that also do the same thing that she's doing. Like she's better than some other buster AOE servants. So she's kind of in a very, very weird spot, but I'll always use my Mordred because I think Mordred is absolutely great. Fate Apocrypha is like still one of like my favorite fate works because dude, who doesn't love a giant battle royale? It's just super great. So I'll continue to always use my Mordred, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace late guys.